Hello and welcome to Isis Pilates. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute intermediate Pilates workout. So listen to my cues and let's begin. All right, let's begin seated cross legs. You're going to slightly tuck your tailbone, bring your ribcage together at the front so that your ribcage is right over your pelvis. You're going to lengthen your fingertips out and then we're just going to take a nice deep inhalation. As you extend your arms all the way up to the sky, make sure your shoulders is away from your ears. You turn your palms out and then exhale, lower the hands down. We're going to do two more like this. So inhale through the nose, expanding your ribcage as you extend your hands up. And then turn your palms out and exhale through your mouth. And think of elongating your spine, growing a little bit taller as you lower your hands down. One last one. Inhale. Turn the palms out and exhale. And then from here, you're going to place your right hand down onto the mat, gently pressing into that palm. Reach your left hand all the way up and then you reach that hand over into your mermaid stretch. Apply a little bit of pressure into that bottom palm. We inhale, we exhale, we stretch a little bit further. And lift your hands up, both hands up, left hand down onto the mat, reaching that right hand up and over. We stay here for breather, inhale. And exhale, we reach a little bit further. And then we come all the way back up. And you're going to take both hands, expand your chest, open your arms to the back and then as you exhale reach your hands forward i'm rounding my spine here i'm scooping my belly button to my spine get a c curl in your spine inhale lift your hands all the way back up and exhale lower down let's do two more like that inhale open up the chest exhale reach your arms forward scoop in your core tuck the tailbone rounded spine lift your hands all the way back up as you inhale and exhale lower down one last one inhale open up the chest and exhale round that spine as you reach your hands forward inhale reach your hands up to the sky and exhale grow taller as you lower down one last stretch here you're going to inhale take your hands up as you exhale you're going to twist towards your right side lower your hands down your front hand is gently pressing into the outside of that knee and then at the same time, you're pressing your hand at the back into the floor behind you. Keep your length as you twist a little bit further and further. And then you inhale, you bring both hands back up. And exhale, same thing, twisting towards your left side. And we twist further and further. And inhale, we bring the hands all the way back up and exhale we lower down all right from here we're coming onto our all fours so your knees is going to be placed right underneath your hips palms underneath your shoulders slide your shoulder blades so that it's connected to the side muscles of your body so you want to feel those muscles activated underneath your armpits belly button to your spine knit your ribcage together at the front you tuck your toes you inhale you exhale you lift your knees two centimeters off the mat we keep it there for a moment Reach your ears away from your shoulders. We stay there for three and two and one. Lower the knees down. All right, same thing. This time you're going to squeeze your heels together. Toes is in a V shape. And you're going to inhale, exhale, lift the knees two centimeters off the mat. You rotate your knees open, squeeze those heels together. You tap the knees onto the mat, lift back up. Squeeze the knees together, tap and lift back up. Rotate open and tap, lift back up. Squeeze together, tap, lift back up. Let's just keep on doing this. So you rotate open, really make sure you're squeezing those heels together as you rotate your knees open. And then as you bring those knees together, you try to touch your inner thighs. Keep your core connected. So don't arch the lower spine. And we're gonna go for four more here. So we rotate, open, tap, lift, squeeze together, tap, lift. Three more. Tap, lift, close, tap, lift. Last two here. 
And the last one, we squeeze the legs together, we tap, we lift, let's keep it lifted. And then lower your knees down. Quickly press back into your shell stretch. We take a breather here. Nice deep inhalation, breathing into the sides and the back of your rib cage. And as you exhale, think of shrinking your waistline. Slide your shoulder blades away from the mat. And then we're coming back onto our all fours. This time we're going to step into our plank. You take your right leg to the back. Power through that heel. Then your left leg to the back. We stay in our plank here. Keep lengthening your ears away from your shoulders. And then from here you stay here for four, three, two, one. Now we lift up into the down dog. Lift your tailbone all the way up to the sky. We take a quick stretch here. Just paddle the feet out. And then from here, bring your feet together. Bend your knees softly. Walk your hands back to your feet. Hang here for a moment. Place all the weight into your heels. Bend your knees softly. Start rolling all the way up, articulating your spine. You come all the way up into a standing position. You take your shoulder blades to the back. Inhale, take a nice deep inhalation. Reach your hands up. And then exhale, we roll all the way down. We lower the hands down first, chin to chest, and roll all the way down again. Once your hands have reached the mat, you're going to walk your hands out into a plank again. This time you stay into your plank. Okay, shine your chest forward, sink your shoulders into the side of your body. You're going to take your hip to the left side. So just rotate to the left and lift that hip back up. And then rotate your hip towards the right and lift that hip back up. So you are moving onto the side of your feet to rotate that hip. And then you use your core muscles to bring it back up to center. Keep on rotating from side to side. And we try to keep the upper body squared off. And we take it to the other side and lift. And we go for one last time to each side, lift. And then the right side and lift. We stay there. Now, you're going to reach up your right leg, lengthen that leg out. And from here, you're just going to wiggle forwards and backwards. Think of lengthening the crown of your head away from your toes. We go for three more and two and one. Lower that leg down. Stabilize yourself into a plank. Lift your left leg up. You keep lengthening the toe away from the crown of your head as you seesaw forwards and backwards. And we go for three more, two, and one. Lower that foot down. And then from here, we press back up into our down dog again. We take a nice stretch here. Let's take a breather. And then scoop in your core, roll through each vertebrae as you come back into your plank again. We stay there. Shine the chest forward. Lengthen the heels away from the crown of your head. And then lower down. Quickly press back into your shell stretch again. We stay here for one breather. Inhale. And exhale. We roll all the way up, articulating the spine. All right. We come seated onto our knees. We're going to go into thigh stretches. So to protect your lower spine, you're going to tuck your tailbone in. So you bring your pubic bone forward, your pelvis forward. Imagine there's a small little ball in between your inner thighs. You're squeezing the inner thighs in towards one another. Reach your hands forward and sink the shoulders into the side of your body. Rib cage together. We inhale, we hinge back from our knees, straight line from the knees to the crown of your head. Exhale, we come back up and inhale we hinge back and exhale back up now you can stay here if this is challenging enough for you if you want to add to the challenge you're going to inhale reach your hands up in line with your ears exhale circle the arms around as you bring it back forward inhale reach the arms up in line with your ears as you hinge back exhale come back up and let's go for two more like this arms in line with your ears Exhale, reach the arms forward. If this is too challenging for you, just keep reaching your hands forward and come back up. All right. And then from here, we're going to keep on doing this, but this time we're twisting. Take your right hand, 
pull that elbow to the back as your left hand is reaching forward. Exhale, we come back up. Twisting towards your left side, reach that elbow to the back as you lengthen your right fingertips forward. Exhale, we come back up. And we're gonna go for four more. So reach that right elbow to the back, keep your spine straight, cause engage, rib cage together. Exhale, bring it back up. And to the left side again, elbow pulling to the back while the other fingertip is pulling forward. Exhale, back up. And one last time to each side. And exhale, back up. And then to the other side. And exhale, we come back up. Lift the hands up and exhale, just lower down. All right. From here, let's turn around. Your feet is to the front corner of the mat. We're going to start with some roll downs. Inhale, we lengthen the spine and reach your hands forward. Let's actually extend the legs for this one. You're always welcome to bend your knees if you need to. I'm going to extend my legs. Pointing my toes forward, squeeze my heels together, zip the inner thighs together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deep scoop as we start rolling all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. That's it. Shoulder blades down onto the mat. Reach the hands just behind eye side. Inhale, bring your arms in line with your chest. Exhale, peek over your chest. You sink your rib cage. You scoop your tummy in. You start rolling all the way up. Reach your arms parallel to your legs. Try to get the back of your legs into the mat. And now you scoop your tummy away from your legs. Keep scooping the tummy in, belly button to the spine. We start rolling all the way back down. And then from here, reach your arms just behind eye side. One last roll up. Inhale, hands in line of your chest. Exhale, peek over your chest. I sink my rib cage. I scoop in my core. I roll my chest over my rib cage to roll all the way back up. Lengthen. Inhale, exhale, scooping in the core. And start rolling all the way down, down, down. Quickly reach your hands behind your head, lengthen your toes away, take a nice morning stretch here. Inhale, ah, exhale, we sink deep into the mat. And now we're moving on to our core series. So let's start with the hundreds, knees bent, squeeze your inner thighs together, knees together, feet together. Glutes are slightly active here. Inhale, nod your chin, exhale, slide your fingertips forward. You lift your hands up. Okay, option one is to stay here. Option two is to bring your legs up into tabletop. Option three is to lengthen those legs out. Most important is to keep your spine connected to the mat here or just stable. We start pumping the arms and we inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Keep on going. I'll keep count. And exhale. Inhale. Two. Exhale, inhale, exhale, we are halfway, exhale, inhale, exhale, three more sets to go, exhale, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last one, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, we stay there, can we curl up a little bit deeper, sink your ribcage, scoop in your lower abdominals, lengthen the toes away, and then hug the knees into your chest, ah, relax the shoulders away from the ears, just rotate your head from side to side, making sure there's no tension in your neck and your shoulders, all right, from here, let's reach the legs up, Pull your hamstrings into your chest or holding onto your hamstrings, pulling your legs into your chest. We flex the feet. We point the toes. We flex the feet. We point the toes. From here, scoop in the core. We're going to roll up onto the tip of our shoulder blades. Now, you're going to reach your right leg closer towards your chest while you're reaching that left leg away from you. That leg is lengthening while your tummy is scooped in in the opposite direction. And if you can't reach your ankle or your calf muscle, just hold onto your knee. We pull that leg closer twice. As we pull, pull, we switch and exhale, pull, pull. And keep on switching the legs. And keep the midline of your body here. And switch, exhale, exhale. And switch, pull, pull, switch, exhale, exhale. 
We're going to go for four more, yeah? That's four. Three. Two. Last one. All right. We're going to keep both legs up to the sky. This time we take our hands behind our head. You're always welcome to stay with the first version if you want to. This time you reach your right leg away. You twist your opposite elbow towards that opposite knee. Lengthen the elbows out of the shoulder joints. And exhale, we switch to the other side. And exhale, we switch to the other side. And then we switch. And we switch. If the extended legs are too tricky for, for you here, you're always welcome to bend the knees like this, okay? But otherwise, let's keep lengthening those legs out. We're gonna go for four more after this one. So this is four, and four, and three, and three. Whew, my obliques are feeling this one. And two, and one, and one. We reach the legs up to the sky, hold on to those legs, pull yourself up a little bit higher, bend the knees, <sighs> relax the head down. We take a breather. Let's quickly hug the uh, right leg into your chest, extend your left leg away. And then you press that right knee over towards your left side, but at the same time, your right shoulder blade is staying down onto the mat. Lengthen the fingertips away from you. We find a nice spiral twist here. And then let's switch sides. Left leg hugging into your chest, extend your right leg away. And exhale. Left shoulder blade down onto the mat, lengthen those fingertips out. You can look towards those fingertips while you're pressing that knee over across the midline of your body. We find a nice spiral. Stretch here. Take a breather. And then from here we come back. Knees into your chest. You inhale, you nod your chin. You curl your shoulder blades off the mat. You want to smell those knees. You place your hands down onto the mat in front of you. As you inhale, you're going to shoot your legs forward. Active legs. Lengthen. Squeeze the heels together. Externally rotate the knees slightly. Zip those inner thighs together. Toes are lengthening, tummy is scooping in the opposite direction. Exhale, deeper scoop, pull the knees back in. Two more just like this. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, scoop back in. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, scoop back in. Now you can stay here. Otherwise, let's lengthen the legs out. You bring your arms in line with your ears. Okay, we try to keep that ribcage down. So you only take your arms as far as where you can keep your ribcage down. You exhale, circle the arms around, pull the knees closer in, scoop the core deeper in. Inhale, lengthen everything out. Exhale, circle around, deeper scoop. Let's do one more like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, circle around, deeper scoop. From here, we're going to bring the knees up into tabletop. Quickly just hold on to your hamstrings here. Scoop your core deeper in as you curl up a little bit deeper. Flatten the lower core muscles, flatten your rib cage. Now you take your hands behind your head. You keep your upper body where it is. Drop your head into your hands. Your hands is pressing against your head. You stay here, squeeze those inner thighs together. You slide your legs slightly forward, only as far as where you can keep your lower core muscles scooped in. Exhale, we bring it back up. And we go for two more like this. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, scoop the core deep in to bring it back in. And one last one, you slide it forward. Exhale, we bring it back in. All right, grab onto those hamstrings again. Let's curl up a little bit deeper again. Now you're welcome to stay there with the bent knees if you feel that was enough of a challenge for you. Okay, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you take your hands once again behind your head. You lengthen your toes up to the sky. Knees slightly externally rotated. Toes pointed, heels squeezed together. From here, you lower the legs down. Only as far as where you can keep your lower core muscles scooped in. Exhale, float it back up. We go for two more. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, scoop in to float the legs back up to the sky. Ah, let's just do two more. Inhale. And exhale, scoop to bring back in. 
We keep that deep scoop as we inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, we lift back up. All right, hug the knees into your chest, relax the head. We extend the arms out to the side, step your legs, mat distance apart. And then you're just gonna flop your knees over towards your right side. Take a breather there. And then lift the knees back up and then you float it over to your left side. Take a breather there. And just one last time, lift it up, flip it over to the right side. And then we flip it up and we flip it over to the left side. All right, from here, we're gonna move on to our side leg work. So hug your knees into your chest. Just start rocking forwards and backwards. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. We roll through each vertebrae. And then from here, we come up into a seated position. We're gonna come onto our knees. So if your knees are sensitive, make sure you can maybe fold your mat double and then place your knees onto the mat or you can place a soft cushion underneath your knees. We're gonna place the knees right underneath our hips. You tuck the tailbone slightly, active core, bring your ribcage together. You reach your arms out to the side. From here, keep pulling the fingertips apart from one another. You're gonna tilt over towards your right side. Opposite fingertips is lengthening away to the sky. We exhale, you use those obliques to come back up. And then we spill over to the other side. So you're spilling your tea. And exhale, we're gonna bring it back up. We do this one last time to each side, tilting over to your right side. Activate your obliques, you find a stretch here, but now you activate the obliques to come back up. And then tilting over towards your left side. And exhale, we lift it back up. From here, you're gonna tilt over towards your right side. You place that right wrist right underneath your right shoulder. Lengthen your top leg out to the front corner of the mat. Now, you lift your ribcage away from the mat to so using your obliques to become a light on that wrist. You reach your top hand all the way up to the sky. From here, you're pressing through your supported knee. You're gonna to try to lift up that extended leg. Can we keep it there for a moment? That's it. All right, we just keep it there. Now we flex that foot. And then from here, you're gonna to try to lift that leg up and up and up and up. If this is too much for you on your knee, you can always lower down and lie on your side. Okay, just keep that core connection. All right, and then from here, we're gonna lift it up and up and up and up. Let's keep that leg stable. We point that toe. We're gonna draw six circles in the one direction. Keep circling, you've got this. Keep on breathing. Two more circles. Now we reverse the circles other way around. That's it. Whew. Two and one. We keep lengthening that leg. From here, quickly lower that leg down. Lengthen your top hand all the way over into an arch stretch here. And then you lengthen that leg, that arm back up to the sky. From here, lift that leg up. You're gonna to try to bring that knee in towards your elbow. Lengthen, shoot the leg away from the arm and exhale. Bring knee to elbow and shoot away. And elbow to knee and shoot apart. We got, got three more to do here. And lengthen out. And two. And lengthen out. And one. And lengthen out. Can we keep it there? Reach the hand up to the sky again. Lengthen that top leg out, out, out. We lower that leg down. Reach up into that stretch again. That arch stretch. Top hand lengthening up to the sky. Lift yourself all the way up. And we stretch into our mermaid stretch towards the opposite side. Find a nice stretch here. And then you bring your arms back into that T-shape. You step your extended leg all the way back in. All right, we're gonna spill our T again. So this time we tilt over towards your left side, reach your right fingertips apart from the left fingertips. And exhale, we bring it back up. And then you reach over towards your right side again. 
and exhale, we bring it back up. And then you're gonna reach over towards your left side, left wrist is coming underneath your left shoulder blade. You reach your opposite leg, your top leg out to the front corner of the mat, cause engage, zip that pubic bone up to your rib cage, reach your top hand up, and then from here, you're gonna try to lift that extended leg all the way up. Can we keep it there? Once again, remember you can come down onto the mat, lying onto your side if this is too challenging for you. You will still get a good workout. Lengthen that leg a little bit more. We're gonna flex that foot. From here, little pulses up and up and up and up and up. Try not to lean too much into your wrist so your obliques is still active. We go for three, two, one. Lengthen that toe out. From here, we draw our circles in the one direction. Whew. Three more. And one, reverse the circles opposite direction. Keep lengthening the toes away from you. Last two circles here. We lengthen that toe. You quickly lower that leg down, quickly stretch that top hand over your body, go into that arched stretch. We lift that top hand back up to the sky. From here, you lift that extended leg up. You're going to bring that knee to your elbow, bend the elbow, bend the knee in, and then shoot apart. And bend the elbow and the knee in, and shoot apart. We've got four more. And elbow to knee, and lengthen out. Elbow to knee, and lengthen out. Last one, elbow to knee, and we lengthen everything out. We keep that leg lifted, reach that arm up to the sky. Extended leg, lowers down. Ooh, let's quickly take a stretch over to this side. Top hand is reaching up and over. <sighs> Reach the hand up to the sky. Mermaid stretch towards the opposite side. We breathe here. Inhale and exhale. And then we bring the hands back up into a T-shape. You're going to bring your knees together. Last exercise here for our back muscles. You come seated onto your knees, you stay on your knees. You're gonna hinge forward from your hips. Squeeze your inner thighs slightly towards one another. You tuck that tailbone slightly so that you have an active core here. Reach your hands behind you, rib cage is knit together here. You flip your thumbs out to the sky. So thumbs to the outside of your body. You wanna feel a nice opening up in your chest. And you wanna feel almost like you're squeezing lemonade with your shoulder blades. So shoulders are going down and back, okay? So quickly just look at me, I don't want you to stick out your tailbone. You keep your core connected, rib cage together, lengthen out. You should be feeling your back muscles working here. You bring your hands in line with your shoulders, keep that connection with your core, exhale, slide it back. <sighs> lengthen the crown of the head away from your tailbone. Bring the arms in line with your shoulders, Exhale, lengthen as you slide the hands back again. And lengthen in line with your shoulders. And exhale, reach back. You should be feeling all your back muscles working here. And reach it back. We've got three more. And reach it back. Your glutes are also slightly active here. Up and reach. And one last one and reach, we keep that lengthening of the spine here, little circles with the arms, so fingertips is lengthening to the back, we circle and circle and circle and circle two and one, reverse the circles, keep your ribcage knitted together at the front and two and one, last exercise here, Bend your elbows, swim your hands forward, frame your face with your arms. Exhale, swim the hands to the back. Bend the elbows, slide the hands forward. Exhale, swim it to the back. And sliding forward and swim to the back. Arms are reaching forward and swim to the back. We've got three more. And two. And last one, swim the arms to the back. Flip the thumbs out one last time. Keep lengthening your ears away from your shoulders. And then relax. Place your palms down onto the mat. Round your spine. And then lower your 
sitting bones closer down to your heels. You want to find a nice stretch into your back muscles here. Keep scooping your belly button away from the mat towards your spine while you're gently applying more pressure in your palms. You come back to tabletop back here. One more like that. Inhale and exhale, round the spine. We press back. Find that stretch. And then you come all the way back up into that tabletop. And then from here, you can come seated cross legs. One last breather here. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Sink your shoulders away from your ears. Turn your palms out. And exhale, grow taller as you lower your arms down. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see more videos like this one, please press the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.